This is a defective Toyota alternator. It only charge under 40 volt. I'm going to show you how I take it apart and I diagnose the problem. Take out these uh, four screws, one, two, three, four, and also two of these screws here. If you find that it's a little bit tough for uh, removing the screw, put some uh, penetration oil here. So the whole thing should be able to be coming out like this. First of all, inspect the uh, brush. This brush still look very good. Still look very good. Next, uh, check the stator winding. The stator windings are inside. These are the uh, coil leads. We have to check the uh, continuity between these leads. That is uh, zero points close to zero low resistance. So these are all good. Now I check the uh, coil, whether it is uh, short to the ground. Now touch one with the ground. Touch the short coil lead, no short, no short, no short. No sort. Okay, this uh, stator is good. Check the uh, slip rings of the rotor. It 
it is 2.7 ohms is good. Now to check the rectifier out and uh, first uh, connect this uh, positive to the positive uh, terminal and there is no conductivity and then reverse this and then we can see that is uh, 581 ohm so it looks fine to me in order to double check that I'm going to uh, check each and every dial separately this is the first dot Dial is uh, 559 ohms, it's good. That is the second dial, is of uh, 585 ohm, good. This is the third dial, is 593 ohms, good. So in order to verify that 100%, we reverse this. And uh, the positive here, and uh, the, there is no conductivity here. There is no conductivity here. There is no conductivity here. No conductivity here, and there is no conductivity here. So it means that this is good. If the Alternator is bad, the only thing left is this uh, regulator. The conclusion of this uh, defective uh, alternator is a bad regulator. It's either to replace the regulator or to replace the whole alternator. <clears throat> uh, to put this back, then Use a screwdriver, push the brush in, and then the second one, and then it should be all set in good. And then uh, just put all this, all this screw back, and this and this. And now these uh, these uh, brush assembly can be re uh, replaced. Okay, you can re replace the brush just by itself. Now tighten it all up properly.
make sure these are all tight don't make it too tight and you might break the screw Make sure that it's tight too. That's good. <laughs> 